Don't shoot! You don't come any closer! Don't shoot! Is this how you want Nick to remember his 12th birthday? His father shooting an innocent man. Get up. I love your sister. So did I. Episode 204. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, because that's pretty much your episode. Yeah, that, it was great. I mean, yeah, we, how do you feel about all that? The um, story and kind of where it took you or, as an actor? It was nice because once again, I learned things about, you know, in terms of tr figuring out who this woman is and how to feel, fill these shoes. Mm -hmm. um, a, it was just nice to be here regularly as a theater kid that's figuring out this medium of TV mm -hmm. to have strings of days that I'm here and say, okay, well, I learned this today. Well, that didn't work today. Tomorrow I will X, Y, and Z. Right. That was great. Um, then just having information about her and filling out this, you know, this body that is Rachel, giving it blood and muscles and breath. Yeah, it seemed like you got more, you know, to build the body. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. That and that simply started with the conversation with Graham. Once we found out we were going to be um, picked up, I went back and I watched all of season one purely as an audience member, and it was, you know, August, so there was some distance between the actual doing of it and seeing it for the first time and judging myself and all of that. And as an audience member, I just watched all 13 episodes and asked myself, well, what do I think I know about Rachel as an audience member? What could that have been something? And then sort of put together, for lack of a better word, a character history. Mm -hmm and started with where she came from and her family and how did she, you know, the big question was how did she even become a marshal? What was that decision? And sent an, an email off to Graham and there were some things in there that ended up being in the episode that got tweaked, that got changed, you know, cool. which is a beautiful thing once you put it in the hands of a writer, which I'm not. Right. Yeah, I have a, a background in theater. I started, I studied at Spelman College, which is a liberal arts college for women in Atlanta. I um, got a BA in theater. And then I moved to New York and got an MFA in acting from NYU's graduate acting program. And, um, started doing theater um, and I worked in New York for about four years and took the leap of faith to um, come to LA. Um, I have hopes of being on Broadway one day and was noticing that Hollywood was coming to Broadway and so my response to that was to while I had some time <laughs> get out here and put myself in the grind and hopefully get on a television show or a film and you know establish a name and a face and then I guess about f Justified happened probably five years into my stay here in L.A. Great. So I'm a theater kid being thrown into the world of TV. Um, <laughs> my biggest challenge is not having a rehearsal process, which you get to just mess around and try everything and put all of the pieces together. Um, and not having the, the addition of an audience which comes after four weeks of rehearsal because the audience inev inevitably always teaches you something that you've yet to discover about the piece All right. and there's that immediate feedback whereas you know on television it's like you have that one time or that one day to work on that scene you'll never do it again and you have no idea if, <laughs> if it worked or not some days it feels good and some days you're like mm, not so sure about that one. So those two things would be, I'm, I miss the process of rehearsal right. and um, having the audience as, I guess, the additional character in the play, or as it were. It's like uh, working with this motley crew of actors, it's, Jim and Walton, Art and all that. Well, I haven't had a chance to work with Walton yet. Oh, you haven't? Today oh, literally was the first day that I oh. saw him on the grounds <laughs> since we shot in Pittsburgh. I'm like, there you are. You really exist. Um, 
It's great, and you know, we all have, we all, all come from different places, and we all have different levels of experience, and um, it's always a good time when Nick's on set, because you're going to laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lobbying for him having his own featurette on the DVD. <laughs> yeah, nice. He always has to have the last word of every single scene. It does not matter what's really? happening. I'm open to interview him as well. He is amazing. Um, he's lovely and he has a great family. Um, Joel, the same. We're all Southerners, so that's sort of our tie. And oh, nice. yeah, the, the three of us are from, Tennessee, from so it's cool. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then Natalie's from Harris County, Texas. I'm from Dallas. Mm. And um, yeah, it's it's good. I'm learning a lot from them, and you know, just trying to be present and, and have as much fun as I can. You know, tomorrow isn't promised. 